What's going on everybody? My name is Nate. Welcome to the weekly rotation video. Uh, so last week I did a, or I think it was last week, I'm not really sure when the video came out. I did a video on uh, Savage, or it's a clone of Savage, Savior. So um, I did a giveaway. I accidentally ordered another bottle, which sucks, but whatever. But I did a giveaway. So in the giveaway, in the video, you had to give me a compliment, a random compliment, a good compliment, or you could insult me. I don't, I, I didn't care. Uh, but you just had to give me a compliment. So I have a random generator right now. I'm gonna hit randomize or get started here. And boom, there you go. Congratulations, a former Celtic fan. Nasty Nate the Fragrance Stud. There's my compliment, daddy. Thanks a lot, I appreciate you. So yeah. I can finally say that I got a compliment from a fragrance, fragrance that I gave away. So if you can, contact me on Instagram and give me your shipping address and I will ship it off this week. Um, I already have it packaged up here. So I will be sending this your way. Before we jump into this, drop your sense of the day and what you're wearing this week down in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are wearing. All right, jumping into the weekly rotation. This week was a bit of a lighter week, but I still wore some excellent fragrances. Uh, so I wore the uh, the new Dolce & Gabbana Summer Vibes. Summer is coming to a close in the next three to three-ish months, and so I want to I want to pack out the uh, citrus fragrances as much as I can. I mean. You can wear citrus fragrances all year round. It doesn't really matter about that. But uh, Summer Vibes is this, this stuff is so good. It's a clean musk. It's super citrusy. It's got a nice woody touch to it, um, and, but it is so well done. Well balanced, well delivered. Uh, the musk in here is incredible um, and it's just very citrus. I love it, really, really do. It's just excellent. It's an excellent, excellent fragrance. And then on Tuesday, I wore a Sauvage Parfum. It was backwards. Sauvage Parfum, um, Eau Sauvage Parfum. And this is excellent, elegant, classy stuff. If you're an elegant gentleman, classy man, you gotta get on this. It's really, really good. Um, I, I like it. I, I know a lot of people, um, a lot of people hate it. They think it's like off-putting and weird, but you know, you know, fragrances are very subjective, actually 100% subjective. So, um, you know, you can't really take anybody's word for it. You can take my word for it, but then who am I? I'm just a random guy on the internet. But, so this is a very vetiver heavy fragrance. It's very kind of off-putting to some. Some people don't really like to get on the vetiver bandwagon. Um, this one is heavy vetiver though, very, very much so. And then on uh, Wednesday, I wore this juniper berry beautifulness. Very juniper heavy. This is uh, Gucci Guilty Parfum. And this is excellent, elegant stuff. This is a classy douchebag, but so it's got the great musk character. It's a very good, well-balanced musk fragrance with a lot of wood and it relies heavily on the juniper. The juniper berry is just a, a focal point in this fragrance. So uh, really, really good stuff. Um, it is very uh, pricey at retail, but you can pick it up kind of cheaper on the cheaper side. I say cheaper, it is still kind of like 60, $80 in that area. So I won't, I won't even say cheaper. You can pick it up affordable comparative to retail. I should say that. That's a, that's a better option. Uh, speaking of not retail, this uh, this is excellent stuff. I wore this on Wednesday, I think. I don't even know what day I'm on. Uh, Tuesday, I'm on Tuesday, Thursday. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. So this is so sexy. This is spicy, but it's got some fruity now, fruity nuances to it. It's so, it's a little powdery, but it's just, this is an excellent, excellent clone. This is from Moon Knight. Moonlit Night, the only one, or the one and only. These names are ridiculous. This is from Paris Corner, um, or no, Fragrance World. Yeah, Fragrance World, it's on the cap. Anyway, Fragrance World. Uh, the, the people that copy bottles. Um, excellent, excellent stuff. This They knocked it out of the park. I haven't smelled the original one of this. I've been meaning to pick up the original uh, for a while now, but I've never gotten around to it. This is excellent though. Uh, if if the original is anything like this, 
I really need to pick up a bottle of it because it is, it's sexy spicy. It's got a little bit of a dry fruit. Uh, I, I'm really happy with it. Really, really, it doesn't, it's not the like time of the year to be wearing it. So that was a downside to it. But once it starts getting into the fall time, it's gonna be really, really good. Excellent wear to wear, wear to wear. Friday, I wore Vetiver Sensual. I love this stuff so much, so very much. It's, uh, it's one of my favorites, actually. Every time I put it on, I just um, love it so much. This is from Mansara, Mansara's Vetiver Sensual. Excellent stuff. If you guys are looking into getting into Vetiver at all, I would highly, highly recommend this one because it's um, it ha has a heavy pink pepper nuance and peppery nuance, but it also has a lot of freshness, a lot of aromaticness. And the Vetiver is a, it's soft on the Vetiver, like essential oil kind of smell the dirty earthy vetiver and it has more of a it has this aroma chemical in here it's a vetero fix and it's heavy in this it's a vetero fix is a fixative vetiver creamy woody kind of smell to it and when you uh it's the same kind of this is the same kind of compound or chemical that they use in tom ford gray vetiver the eau de parfum and it has a soft, vetivery, smooth, woody smell to it. Whereas vetiver essential oil has a ruggedness to it. It has an earthiness. It has a, a rooty, earthy kind of smell to it. Whereas vetiver fix has um, a vetiver nuance, but it's much more woody and it's creamier smooth. All right, and then on, um, what is today? This is not, this is Saturday. I was, I was wearing this today um, and I'm not recording this in the morning. I'm recording this at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I have a lot to do tomorrow. So I, I decided to record it tonight. So uh, Polo Red Parfum is what I wore today. And I love this stuff so, so very much. Um, I wanted to wear something kind of light, something um, bright, uplifting, and something kind of playful too. I, I, I love this. It's nobody else does on the internet. So if you look up reviews on this, you're going to be very disappointed. Everyone's going to talk you out of buying this. Uh, and I would too, essentially. Like it's nothing, it doesn't reinvent the wheel. It's not the best flanker to the Polo Red, but I really do love it. Um, it's just so, so good. It's got like a fruity redness to it. It's got, but there's this, um, I think it's called App. Absnith. I'm starting to sound like Mike Tyson. Anyway, there's a note in here that a lot of people get turned off by, and it's like an alcohol booze kind of smell. Uh, absinthe, I think it's called. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people don't jam with it. And on the dry down, it does get kind of funky to some people. I can smell it a little bit. Like it does get a little off putting. So um, it's not, I wouldn't say run out and buy it but it is very nice. Um, and if you happen to buy it on accident and you pay full retail for it, you might not hate yourself, but um, you know, you could spend the money very wisely somewhere else. Anyway, tomorrow, I haven't worn this in a long time and I wanna wear it tomorrow. This is uh, Valentino Womo Born in Roma Intense. And I have not worn this in a very, very long time. Um, probably like two or three months, uh, but uh, I really like this stuff. It's like, a, it's got the sweet bubblegum kind of smell, the sage, and the, also like the earthiness, the vetiver and stuff going on in there. Like like before, the vetiver in here is a very, it's a very soft vetiver. It's the vetiver fix. There might be a few other compounds that are vet, smooth vetiver kind of styles, like aroma chemicals that are, um, in the same kind of ballpark as Vetiver Fix, um, but Vetiver essential oil is like the dirtiest essential oil there is, <laughs> pretty much. Anyway, this is really good. It's bubblegum sweet. It is powerful, and it's got little bit of a smokiness to it, which comes from like the woody vetiver at the base. So um, it really does smell excellent. This is a very good, um, well balanced, sweet fragrance. There's a lot of things like this on the market. Um, so, you know, it's nothing really too 
um, unique uh, by any means, but it is a very damn good fragrance. Anyway, I am experimenting with more fragrance stuff, um, making fra fragrances and stuff. Um, it's a difficult process. It is a really difficult process and it's 100% subjective too. I mean, like you can spend, uh, you can spend months and months and months and then it just takes like a couple bad reviews and your whole company bumps. I don't know. I'm interested about it. I'm gonna actually probably reach out to some of my friends who do own fragrance companies and kind of just pick their brains and stuff, pick their brains. I'm at no point to release any of my fragrances yet, but um, you know, it's always something that I'm looking at into the future. Anyway, a former Celtic fan, Celtics fan, uh, hit me up on Instagram, please. I gotta get this bottle sent to you. More videos to come, struggling with the scheduling stuff. I, you know, I'm a lot going on, a lot going on, but I'm, uh, trying to get back into the swing of making a lot of top 10 random lists. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know what you wore down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.